Hello, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing? Welcome to another mobility moment. As you may have noticed, we try and sort of layer on different parts to the techniques that we've shown you. And last time, I remember showing you guys something with your levator scapulae here in your upper back. And just sort of a little stretch where we went like this to kind of loosen that up. But now, what we're going to do is we're going to use a handy dandy ball. This one happens to be the pink bouncy ball, which is a little bit more forgiving than my favorite lacrosse ball, which is a more intense and really gets in there, to do a little bit of soft tissue work back here. Now, the reason why we want to do this is that we can only stretch so far, and any tissues that are bound up is bound to stay there and be stuck. So that's why we keep referring to these stuck bits that you want to remove so that those tissues can get moving freely and glide across each other again. And you can uh, take those stuck bits of tissue and get them to extend into the right positions you need them to get into in order to restore your proper posture. It's simply a matter of taking the ball, setting yourself up so that you're just a little bit off of the wall so you can lean into the wall set the ball back here and just work sort of that upper back portion where your shoulders connect to your neck and just hit that as intensely as you can handle it. I'm gonna go ahead and do about three to five strokes up and down to kind of just take care of that. This is actually nothing to me since I'm kind of used to a lot more intense pressure. Work that, work your way down. That space between the scapula and the neck to work the levator, to loosen that up. And you can increase the stretch by pulling your head forward and down. And three, four, five. After you've done that, you can go ahead and switch over to the other side. Three, four, five. Now, as much as I want to bore you with some technical details, the thing you want to consider is that this is a pretty open-ended approach. You want to go ahead and look for the things that are problem spots unique to you and address those things. The reason why I can't give you a template to apply to everybody is that what you may be experiencing is probably different from somebody else's in your office, in your family, or wherever it happens to be. But a pretty common issue is that we do have this sort of bent over posture that we adapt over time as you sit at a desk, going through school, going to work, and if you happen to find yourself at a job, we tend to do this. And for those of you who uh, need a little more help, I would recommend that if you can, Stop sleeping with so many pillows because what you're taking for granted is that you're actually maintaining that same pattern of behavior by sleeping. Let me show, let me try to show this to you in this posture. So for those of you to have, those of you who like using three, four, five pillows, what you're actually doing is that the front of your body has gotten so tight and so short and the back has become so stretched out and extended that you need something to maintain that posture because it's uncomfortable to get back into that normal position because it's so tight in the front. And this is one of those things that you can do to kind of loosen up whatever is stuck in that extended position because over time those muscles get bound up. Over time they'll become stuck in that position permanently so you need to undo that in order for you to restore those muscles in the right positions. Thank you once again for your support. As always, give us a thumbs up. And if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or ideas for future videos, go ahead and put them down below in the comments section. Subscribe to our channel so that you can stay up to date on all the stuff that we have to put out there for you guys. And as we get moving along, we'll try and answer more commonly asked questions for you guys whenever you feel there's something you just need addressed. Anyways, my name is Mark for the mobility moment. Mob mom.
out.